Works really well. Fly and Zix Lowell to get a quick handshake in. Also getting the Alistar away from Alphromu. And still on to Adrian, who loves his engages. He's the Leona player. He knows what going in is all about. And the time has come once again to go live. So head over to Twitter and vote on the outcome of this game. If you think Team Impulse are going to win with their impulsive play style, send that hashtag chaos in to win. <laughs> or if you think CLG's more methodical approach and more objective-oriented gameplay will carry the day, send that hashtag order in. Uh, Rush has been able to secure impact, a solid lane down bottom mm -hmm. for the Hecarim. Up top, though, not so much. Ooh. Not enough boards oh. towards the top side of the map for Impulse. They've been getting aggressive, and Smithy says we can make a play off of this with Aphromu and Double if they do so. We've already one kill over to Double. However, he goes down in the fight, and they're going to give this one over to Smithy. Very nicely done there. On to Shao is Shao, but Ooh. he's running barrier, not ignite. Yeah. Oh, oh, Rush looking for a little sneaky kill here. And stop. Got him. Agony's embrace. Poe Belter. Flashes up, but he has nowhere to flash. Great move there by Rush to take so, that out. Yeah, and the... Re oh, well, he's going to run into Smithy here. See how this turns out first. Get the permafrost down. W. Adrian. Oh. Back side. Fates call's been brought in. Fates call is out. If Smithy could get out here, it hits double lift with the pulverize and the headbutt going in. They cannot get the kill onto if Smithy with a sliver of health here. And it looks like Apollo and Adrian may go down Turn around here from Xiaowe Zhao. Another teleport actually coming in from Zion Spartan. Impact. Actually, Zion's was seemed to be stopped in that situation. Or he just went farther behind. Impact was already started, is what it was. And Zion Spartan could actually not offer up any help. Does he decide to jump in and get out of this one? No, he does not. He's set back by Apollo in that situation. It's early on build very offensively. Mm -hmm. You're all about skirmish. You're about high impact short plays using your invisibility. Here comes the dive. Adrian should be the point man with the ultimate. Oh, double lift couldn't get over to the lantern in time, and it was Xiao Wei Xiao that pushed Pole Belter into the mid lane first time here. We'll see what Impulse can do with Rush. He's been in the face of Vic Smithy a few times. Oh, Zion. Back and forth in this lane. It seems like Zion in mini form here getting the hyper shots is able to do a bit more damage than going into NAR form. And he doesn't even have to to get that one. Solo kill for Zion onto Impact the defense to stop top from going down as well. So good movement after the dragon. Mm -hmm. Keeping solid. The order is coming to be here. It looks like that might actually take down impact as he goes a little too hard for this top turret without the wards there. He oh. just used his ult to get out of a situation like this. Does not have a flash because he's running that smite in the top lane. Rush comes up here as well. Great pressure from Adrian and the team. Zion Spartan throws everybody and plaques them up against the wall as a trophy. They're only able to come away with two. Adrian peels himself off and gets back down. This is... Oh! oh Poe Belter! That wasn't even the shield. It just was not yeah. in range. He flashed forward for it. They still are going to get Adrian for their troubles with another death sentence coming in from Afro Moo. And CLG's order picks up a few more. Once you have especially Zion, the one getting fed. Once you have this really strong front line... Uh-oh. Whoops! Uh -oh. Whoops. <laughs> Open your eyes! Closed eyes engaged from CLG, it seems. No, they just missed quite a few. Great dodges by Impulse as well, but you can only dodge so much. Impact getting hit up here, trying to get Spear to the Dragon. Oh. Heal him back up even more. Hits the consumable, but he still goes down as Apollo's trying to hit the DPS from the outside. Pole Belter is going to drop Adrian and Zion Spartan here on the heels of Apollo. It's going to drop him down. No! Misses the Nar ult, but Xiao Wei Xiao missed the chain. So they have a little bit more time to run around. He's able to pull janitor duty and take down both. Both Zion Spartan and Nick Smithy at the end of that uh, fight. The only one alive for his team. Since uh, Zion was building for his one versus one with impact. Whee! Nice. Oh, it's not going to matter. He's way faster. They're going to get it down. Oh, no, it does matter. The dark passage to the light. What a savior. Oh, knocked all the way back. Impact not getting the situation he wanted from start to finish. Uh, Sharima drift. <laughs> and we got the tower shove here, and it's going to cost them an inhibitor turret, though. So even though Pobelter escapes with his life, they get the kill on impact. Impulse, they gain an inhibitor turret. All right, so this is a Nar coming in. Not on home guard, but he is the wall between Impulse leaving. A tiny wall at that. They might be able to jump over him. Ah! <laughs> trying what? to get through. Bounces. Actually not activated all the way through. Uh -huh. 
You're gonna right. see these Boomerang guys play. working. Top lane, Xiao Wei Xiao trying to figure out if he can get enough damage onto Zion Spartan. He's gonna take it fully. Zion, Nars out, and Nars minions into the wall. Fight now, onto Apollo. The focus going back onto Adrian and Xiao Wei Xiao. Smithy may be biting off more than he can chew, but it seems like Xiao Wei Xiao has actually walked away from the fight, knowing they don't have enough without Impact being there and no teleport to come in. Still gonna have to keep moving. Should be able to get out easy, but CLG. Azir soldiers spawned on the turret. Get a chunk out of it. Really great that they just picked out Rush as well over at the Wolf Camp. May not know where he is now, coming from that right side. Seen by Aphromoo, the call has been made. You see the team back up so they don't get hit by Agony's Embrace or a big pulverize. Really well communicated, but Impact oh. gets that pulver, or gets the, the control of the team that he wants. They are all piled in is what I was looking for. And they don't come out with what they want. Double kill for double lift. And they just cannot get past that second Azir turret. Still sticking together in the death ball. CLG not allowing their members to go down. The perfect strategy against Team Impulse. CLG set up a fort yeah. right outside of the base and go with the siege. They just surprise wait it until they Impulse. want to take it. Wow. As I was saying, I'm surprised. Afro move, ladies and gentlemen. Afro move. Impact even wanted to take that with his ultimate. While it still looked picture perfect, they were still fighting under a turret. Confused me enough that I couldn't even find the word pile. <laughs> Here we go. Once again, piling in. Oh, on the Baron pit. Apollo looking at Pole Belter. Now Zion Spartan's all over him, trying to get somebody to go down, but Impact can't helicopter around enough and get the DPS out. Impact is arriving. Well, they get Adrian, so he can't lock it down. That's the smite going over. To CLG, they get Baron, and the fight goes in. Adrian gets a full pop-up on the team. Apollo's not able to fight in there, though. An ult from Pole Belter kept everybody out of the pit. Big Smithy follows through. He hits the Glacial Prison, and now they're on to the rest of Team Impulse with Xiao Wei Xiao, a sliver of health just towards the top side of the map. Pole Belter popping soldiers on the turret. Yes, they can. Woo. No contest there. Like you said, putting soldiers down on the turret. Quite a bit of burst damage to them. Adrian already with the ultimate on something the team needs to defend the base. And now they are worse off without it. Inhibitor is going to start taking some shots. You see Xmithy trying to put the front wall of beef there so nobody can get by him. He's got level 16 alt, so he's good on that. Rush is actually still level 15, so he's not bringing alt level 3 to this fight. And CLG is across the board. We're going to see what happens. Oh. Xmithy may not be able to get a good alt off in this one. It looks like Impulse breaks it right away. Xiao Wei Xiao still on the bottom side. Does a bit of in and out damage. But it is Pole Belter and the rest of the team along with Double Lift cleaning up these kills one after the other. Apollo threaded one in there for the team, but it's not enough. Three members of CLG stand tall. They take down the Nexus turret. And at 39 minutes, Counter Logic Gaming walk away from week one 2-0 as CLG takes down Team Impulse. <laughs> Very soft hugs. <laughs> that didn't look like a Sejuani hug.